Oh boy, here we go. Economic Ninja here. So I was sitting in my garage working on cabinets and I thought I'd talk to you about something. Totally different kind of angle. And that's silver. I want to talk to you about silver because I have a feeling a lot of people have this wrong when it comes to taking down the Comex. I think people are trying to attack the Comex at that level, hoping that you're going to see a default and all of a sudden something miraculously happened to the price of the shiny metal. I do not think this is going to happen, and this is why. Now, don't take this as financial advice, but I do believe that what, what needs to happen is that we need to be able to show supply deficit. And the easiest way to show that is through physical purchases. You see, it's been proven that every single time something disrupts the market, like let's say a collapse in the price of paper or a rise in the price of paper, let's say and that doesn't have to be even be that much. Uh, usually for every, let's say, four or five dollars in the collapse of paper silver there only needs to be a rise of a couple dollars for there to be a supply shortage now let's throw this out there stand by sorry it's a nice warm day today i need some water so let's throw this out there if all of a sudden you constantly see supply shortages and the premiums explode right now we're sitting around 35 to 40 percent over the paper price to be able to pick up one physical ounce right if you constantly see that going on, I believe that's what's gonna change public perception of what's going on as far as the, the how disconnected the physical market is, excuse me, from the, the paper market. Everyone keeps focusing on the COMEX. And I don't think they understand that when you're buying physical, these dealers have to go and source more metal. So they go into the market and they buy futures contracts for you know, delivery on a, a date in the future if they need it. And that is what I believe is going to finally take that down. Now, with that said, should you be rushing in and paying high premiums? No, not necessarily. Because what happens uh, right now, I mean, there will be a day where the premiums will explode. Do I think that's happening right now? Not necessarily. Um, I think we'd have to see way higher premiums and much longer delays. Let's say two month delays and literally we're paying like 80% over spot for, you know, physical ounce, no matter what the paper price is. All right. To see something very serious in the market. What I believe is going to happen is people are tapering off the purchases of metal after the last 30 days. I believe these premiums are already starting to see them come down. And they're going to continue to come down. As that happens, um, we can start moving back into the physical market. Uh, I don't believe we need to pay these massive high premiums, okay? I believe also that as the physical crunch gets a little bit lesser and lesser, you're going to see the, the paper price start to tick up a little bit. Uh, I think that 25 almost seems like a line in the sand on the low end. I'm not a chartist, but also like 28.50 seems to be that peak that if we bust through that, then we're gonna, we're gonna run up to 30 pretty quick and quite possibly above. So I wouldn't be a buyer personally at these massively high premiums. I'd be looking for deals, okay? Because you wanna be able to allow, if Wall Street continues to manipulate this, which I believe they are, allow these smash down in prices, if the premiums also smash down equally, those are good entry points to pick up physical. But I wouldn't get be part of the mania that's just bidding up the prices of physical when in all reality, if we're patient, those premiums are going to shorten, you know, and it's not the, the sellers like SD Bullion or um, Atmex that are doing this because they are having to pay higher prices because of the surge in demand. And I am sure that if you ask the owners of these companies, uh, because they're still making the same margin, you know, if they're selling it to you for more expensive or less, they would rather sell it to you for less because they know you're going to be able to now afford more ounces. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If, you, if it does, please like and comment below. But also, if it doesn't make sense, please throw those comments below. Either someone else or myself will get to those questions. I'm trying to get to all your guys' comments. Uh, the channel is growing fast, and I thank you for that. All right, guys, with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.